Yeah, yeah, we can start now. We are live, ma'am. Namaste. Good morning. Welcome. We begin with the proceedings of the day with a sneak peek into the portals of our institution. Technical team, can we please have the presentation rolling? That was a glimpse of how every member within our institution upholds STIE, sensitive, tolerant, innovative education. It is customary at St. Teresa's to embark on new beginnings, invoking God's divine empowerment. So let us take a prayerful posture while we put ourselves in the presence of God.
Welcome back. Respected Reverend Sisters of the Congregation of the Carmelite Religious, our principal, Dr. Sister Tanuja Wagmare, our esteemed guests of honor and resource person for, for this faculty development program, Principal Dr. Sandhya Kredekar, our technical partners at FlyLearn, our lead coordinator, Dr. Joan Lopez, members of the staff, students, and our dearest delegates desirous of becoming tech-savvy teachers of the future. It is our privilege to extend a warm welcome to this overwhelming number of almost 5,000 delegates. Every time humankind has confronted a challenge, they have always found a way to overcome it. The current COVID-19 pandemic is one such, a time of reconciliation. The deadly virus has unified humans, irrespective of color, creed, race, class, and wealth. We realize how elusive human ambitions are the lockdown, shut institutions, and social distancing norms that we follow today have been countered gracefully by teachers like you because you have realized that you need to hone skills that will enable you to embrace technology. Brick universities will soon be replaced by click universities since they are much cheaper, more efficient, and exceedingly effective. In a country like ours, where education is inaccessible and still considered a luxury, click universities that offer online education are the answer, for they will enable us to reach out to the least, the lost, and the left out. The second pressing and important need is that of having to reach out to our students while being socially distanced. You teachers are wise since you have chosen to grow with the moment. So, STIE is here, offering you training worth spreading. We would want to ignite a revolution. To set the ball rolling, we request our principal, Dr. Sister Tanuja Wagmari, to deliver the welcome address. Over to you, Sister Tanuja Wagmari. Thank you, Sheila. Good day, good people, and a cordial welcome to one and all. Our hearts swell up with appreciation to God, our Father, for keeping us safe in his love and care. Since the COVID-19 pandemic has caused educational institutions worldwide to go online, we are back again to be with you on this online mode of education. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome the digital teaching fraternity in our midst. A warm welcome to our provincial sister Claire D'Souza, our manager, sister Wilma Mendes, teachers from various schools and colleges, especially those from other states, and all our online viewers to this webinar on creating tech-savvy teachers for future classrooms. My heartfelt thanks to our STIE staff. Special thanks to Dr. Joan Lopez, along with Dr. Sheila Phillip, Dr. Serena Dikuna, and Dr. Reshma Rodericks, for looking into the minute details of this webinar. Thanks to Dr. Giselle D'Souza, Dr. Cinderella DeMello, Dr. Shakuntala Nigot, and the clerical staff for all the support that you have rendered. This has been possible because of your sincere efforts. Thank you and God bless you. We are extremely grateful to Ma'am Manisha Thakur of Ed Tech Promoter, founder of Edfly, and her team for their collaboration. Thanks to Dr. Sandhya Khedekar, principal of GES College of Education, Sangamir. Today, learners are living in a high-tech world. They have access to the latest sources of information and hence teachers need to keep pace with the current technological trend. The 21st century has posed a host of challenges ranging from global warming to weapons of mass destruction, and now the COVID-19, which necessitates the transformation of the educational world into a technology-based educational system. Needless to say, the pandemic has transformed 
the centuries old chop top teaching model to one driven by technology. This disruption in the delivery of education is pushing policymakers to figure out how to drive engagement at scale while ensuring inclusive e-learning solutions and tackling the digital divide. As APJ Abdul Kalam has rightly said, the purpose of education is to make good human beings with skill and expertise. Enlightened human beings can be created by teachers. This is exactly why we are all here. So friends, let's not get stuck in how we used to do things. Let's build great organizations with engaged people who ultimately guide us forward into the next phase of our evolutionary development, quote Chris Rolf. We are grateful to you for your overwhelming response to this STIE webinar, wishing you days of fruitful and happy learning sessions. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, sister, for that warm welcome. Now I call upon our lead coordinator, Dr. Joan Lopez, to present a brief profile of our distinguished resource person. Thank you, our principal, Dr. Sister Tanuja Pagmare, for your kind words. Good morning, one and all. It's a great pleasure for me to introduce our eminent speaker, Dr. Sandhya Khedekar, who is the principal of Gokhale Education Society's College of Education, Sangamalaya. She is the director of Empire Butterfly Training and Research Academy, Mumbai, where she gives defense training to girls. Recognized MPhil and PhD guide at Savitri Bai Phule University, Pune, and an educational advisor of Meghalaya and Madhya Pradesh state educational projects. Ma'am has been awarded with national and international awards like Professor Indira Parekh 50 Women Education Leaders Award, Devang Mehta National Award for Leadership in Education and various state level awards for women empowerment works. She has also been a radio jockey at All India Radio. She is also a member of National Council for Teacher Education, Delhi, and has written two books on ICT and educational research. She has published more than 75 papers in national and international journals and organized more than 30 workshops and seminars on various topics. Ma'am has delivered more than 200 lectures on various topics like self-defense, ICT, time management. Thank you, Dr. Sanya, for accepting our invitation. Over to you, ma'am. Good morning, dear participants. And let me first welcome you and congratulate all of you for being part of this wonderful journey of being techno savvy teacher. Because lockdown period and we can't go to school regularly. So it is our duty to be with our students, to communicate our students. So in this uh, five days faculty development program, we will be uh, discussing and we will be learning some tools which are really useful for all the teachers and students. Let me uh, share my screen with you first and uh, let me begin with this. When uh, uh, we think of any kind of technology, it is uh, always there is one kind of anxiety or we can say there is always one question that for my students uh, what kind of tools are uh, available there and what exactly I can do for my students if I want to work on some particular subject 
if i am an english teacher i am a history teacher i am a mathematics teacher or you are teaching science whatever subject you are going to teach all these tools i am going to tell you all these five days they are applicable and useful for all the subjects so don't worry about your content don't worry about your subjects if you have any questions you can put in the telegram group you can put in the chat box of youtube live or you can ask me personally on my whatsapp numbers i will be always available there for all the participants to answer your queries but daily or whatever discussions we are going to do you have to practice it so uh, every day there will be assignment for you you don't have to submit the assignment but you have to complete the assignment whatever i am going to tell you because every day i'll be dealing with two or three uh, tools which are useful for you for uh, communicating with your students in this lockdown period but still if you really want to have mastery on it you have to practice it so daily whatever tools we are learning uh, you just open your laptop uh, uh, most of the tools they are mobile friendly or so if you don't have your laptop at home you can uh, work on your uh, mobile also and you just complete the activities so that will really help you so the topic of this faculty development program is uh, creating tech savvy teachers for future classroom we all are aware about uh, some technology tools some digital tools where we can work on in today's session we will be discussing about google classroom google docs and google form before that let me tell you one quote of alvin toffler he says the illiterate are the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write but those who cannot learn and learn and relearn this is very very effective and important statement i believe because if we are ready to unlearn and relearn because we already have some mindset that in this particular way only we can teach we can use this particular method for this subject so traditionally we have impact on many many teaching methods on our mind but being teacher in this digital era we have to change the mindset we have to change our attitude as a teacher we have to adapt and accept all the new technologies and face all the changes in positive way if you take it very positively believe my friends this journey of using technology is very very enjoyable it will really give you lot of job satisfaction once you use it effectively so it is very essential to have that positive attitude about technology we all of us know the evolution of learning that what kind of technology we were using traditionally and what we are using now so we were using blackboard and chalkboard suddenly we shifted to whiteboard and marker then we were using transparency slides over it projector power powerpoint presentation nowadays we all teachers they are using ci web based computer assisted instruction web based learning teaching tool we all know video conferencing we were using you remember all those lectures on skype and on uh, video conference then e classroom wireless technology and now innovative technology why i am saying innovative technology because it is a era of education 4.0 so let me tell you what is education 4.0 this uh, figure or this picture is given by thailand cyber university uh, there are four revolutions or four generations we can say education 4.0 is a new novel concept now in the field of education so in the first revolution of education that is 1.0 we were using lectures and memorization method in second that is 2.0 we were using internet enabled learning in 3.0 knowledge producing education was there and in 4.0 we have to give some innovative things some creative things to the students so innovation is a need of an hour if you see here enabling technology for industry 4.0 that is education 4.0 the fourth revolution it is characterized by these many 
uh, terms and we being a teacher we all must know what these terms are so you must have heard about augmented reality virtual reality internet of things artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning big data analytics cloud computing 3d printing digital simulation and robotics we all are aware aware about all these things and we have heard something about it so what we have to do is the question always is there what is teacher's role in lockdown period nowadays many schools i think most all the schools they are asking teachers to teach online some schools might have their own lms that is learning management systems some school might not have their learning management system some are struggling with the google meet some are struggling with zoom they are using different kinds of platforms some are using google classroom as it is free and accessible user friendly so what kind of tool or what kind of platform should i use that is always a question in front of teacher and school also so being a school management or being a school principal it is always better to have a common platform for all the teachers teaching in the school for example if in this uh, lockdown period in this pandemic uh, period we all know that we have to begin with new academic year we have to begin with our teaching learning many schools they have started with it few schools they are starting few colleges they are still in process of starting so there should be common platform i will be showing some learning management platforms also and we will learn that how to use all these things in our day to day teaching when we are sitting at home we do not believe that technology will replace teachers but it may fundamentally change the role of teachers and lead to new teaching tools and practices so our role as a teacher is changing that we have to accept but my friends technology will never replace teacher there will be always need of teacher in the classroom situation here i am showing you some examples of learning management system you must have heard about it canvas is there where uh, from kg to 12 standard students they can i mean higher education also we can use this as a platform some moodles we can prepare moocs are there edfly learn where we are actually having this uh, seminar now so edfly learn is providing platform for organizing this uh, faculty development program it is a comprehensive lms which allows educators to plan schedule and conduct live online classes share virtual content evaluate students through quizzes assignments and online examinations and communicate effectively that means you can have this kind of uh, learning management system where all the teachers they will use the similar things to you content delivery to the students then edmodo you must have heard we can distribute quizzes assignments and manage communication with student colleagues and parents so we can have groups and we can communicate with the students here you can see some presentation tools are there when uh, you say that uh, if i want to create my own presentation so there are many many applications and many websites where where you can use your presentation edu creations here is there glockster is there haiku deck is there applications they are uh, mobile friendly so you can just go, go on the play store of your mobile and you can download and you can use it very easily then in some presentation tool pick to chart is there prezi is there and wizmi is there i am not going in detail of all these applications because we will be having some demonstration of uh, some particular tools which you are going to use then in uh, online whiteboards you can use classroom screen explain everything whiteboard dot file i will be showing some demonstration in this five days of these tools then quizlet is there if you want to give some quiz to the students or you want to evaluate your students for assessment purpose quizlet can be used socrative is one of the beautiful tool where you can do online uh, exam to the students you can assess the students testmos is also there there are some other tools like uh, teach you or exam uh, for examination point of purpose there are many assessment tools which we will be having demonstration on the last day 
So, uh, again, for writing abilities, if you want to enhance the writing abilities of children, here you can see some uh, tools like Boom Writer, Storyboard, and Story Jumper, where students can develop their own stories. Students can have their groups. They can develop story in a group. They can write. They can put some pictures, and they can develop their writing skills. And uh, some Google tools for educators. All the Google tools are very uh, much user friendly, and they are free. You don't have to pay anything for it. So today we will be discussing about this only, and we will have some demonstration on Google Classroom, Google Docs, and Google Forms. If time permits, I will show some other features of Google also. Few references I have taken for this. And uh, my dear teacher friends, technology is a friend of education, and there is no reason to fight this friend. Right on the contrary, by incorporating digital tools in con. Uh, classroom means we are going to incorporate all these things in the classroom situation and this technology or these tools will definitely help you to be better teacher to leader you will become a leader who foster innovation and if you want to practice more so let me uh, tell you this one thing in the beginning only if you want to practice for the tools whatever demonstration i have showed it will be available on my youtube channel after completion of this session so you can go on the youtube type my name dr sandhya khedekar and you can uh, see today's demonstration whatever i am demonstrating uh, for different tools so after watching those videos again you have to practice for it and daily you have to practice and you share your experiences in telegram group Every day in the evening, five to six p.m., Telegram group will be open, and you can uh, ask some questions in that. If you face any difficulty using these tools, and again and again, you can watch uh, these videos on my YouTube channel, and you can subscribe my channel also. Whenever I put the video, you will get the notification of it. Right. So let us now begin with the actual demonstration of the tools. What I'm going to tell you today. So let us begin with the Google Classroom first. So for the Google Classroom, you need your uh, Google account, and uh, what you have to do is just go on the Google uh, login, and if you don't have a Gmail login, create it first. and after logging into your gmail account go on these dots here you can see uh, nine dots go on the google apps and after scrolling down you will be able to see here classroom so click on this google classroom will get open and in this google classroom you can create any number of classrooms you want and you can ask your students to join your classroom i already have created some classrooms here but uh, now let me show you one demo by creating um, uh, one more google classroom so this kind of page will be open when you go on google classroom click on the plus sign here create or join a class so when you click on plus sign you will be able to see join class or create class so join class option will be used by your students when they want to join your class and create class will be used by the teachers first time they are then they are creating the class so if i click on create class it will ask me to accept the terms and conditions of google so i will accept it and i will go to next here i have to give a class name or create class so let me here give my subject or the topic is ict section i can give first year you can give your school uh, uh, this thing also suppose you are english teacher you can write your english or you can type your name even i can type my name also if i want uh, to be displayed on the first part of my google classroom so ict by dr sandhya khedekar so student will immediately understand that uh, which teachers class is this 
So here again, I can put the details of my subject that is information and communication technology. Okay. So if I want to put room, I or we can create it. So after uh, clicking on create, you will be able to see the actual classroom. So here you can see my classroom got created and it is showing me that ICT by Dr. Sandhya Khedekar. This will be visible to the student, first year student. And it is one of the important aspect here. You can click here. So this is your class code. So I have to share this class code with my students whenever I want my student to join my class. So here, from here, you can copy the class code and you can send it to WhatsApp group. You can send to student by email and you can invite them. There is one more method to uh, ask students to join. You can go here. You can see four options. First is team. Second is classwork. Third is people. And fourth is grade. So if I go on people, here two options are there. That is teachers and students. So I can add my uh, colleagues teacher if I want. I can type their name or I can invite them by their email. Even I can invite my students by clicking here and I can type their email and I can invite. Otherwise, you can invite students. You can give this class code and you can invite students. So student, what students will do? Students will open their Gmail account. They will go on the Google Classroom and they will put this Google Class code when they are saying join class. So after join class, Google Classroom will ask them to put the class code. Student will put the class code and student will join the class. So uh, this is the first page of my Google Classroom. And if I want to change the theme, you can select the theme or you can upload the photo. If you want any particular photo of your subject, you can upload the photo from here or you can select the theme. If I go here and I, I want to select the theme, so there are some themes already in Google Classroom. So my subject is related to ICT. So I'll select this page of uh, theme of computer and it will get changed in few seconds. So you can see here the theme of my class is changed. So here, uh, if you see is a, in the, on the first page, create and schedule announcement. You can, if you have some announcements, you can create here. You can respond to students' posts. So whenever students will post something, their post will be visible on this first page. Okay. Uh, so let us go to the next part, that is classwork. If you click on the classwork, this kind of page will be visible. And here you can see a create button. If I click on create, it will ask me what I want to create. That is assignment, quiz assignment, question, material, reuse, post or topic. Suppose I want to create a material for my class and here you can see I, I want to give title to my uh, material. So I'll write here concept of ICT. Okay. So in the description box, if I want to describe about ICT, I can write the definition. I can put more information about uh, ICT. Or I can add some files here. You can see one beautiful feature is there. That is, you can add your study material from Google Drive, from Link, from File, and from YouTube. We will see all these four options, how we can do it. If I click on Google Drive, it will take me to my drive of Google, and it will ask me if anything is there. So I'll go on the Google Drive, and... If I want to add some file, so here I can add some files. For example, this e-tools part I want to add. So I will upload this file here. It will get uploaded. So you can see this PPT is available here. I uploaded it from my computer. I, when I can go to my drive and I can go, uh, you, if you want to add from some link, I can give here link from any website or from YouTube channel. If I want to upload any file, I can upload from here. 
I already showed you this. I'll go to my uh, Google Drive link and I will show you this one. If, for example, I have many files here and I want to select this one. Okay. So I have selected this and I have added this. So you can see the, it, this got uploaded from my Google Drive. If I want to uh, upload something from my YouTube channel, so it will uh, ask me to put URL or I can search something on Google. If I type here, Sandhya Khedekar, so it will take to me to the page of my YouTube and from my YouTube channel, if I want this uh, part, so future online jobs for teachers, this file I want here. So I'll, if I say add, this file got added here. So my students will be able to see this file from my YouTube link. So this content I have already added here. And uh, let us go to the next. I'll, I'll click on post here. So this content will get posted in my, if I want to add topic, I can add topic, otherwise I will leave it. So if I, uh, this content or material got established here, you can see if I uh, click on concept of ICT, you will be able to see the three files. One I added from my computer, one from my Google Drive and one from my YouTube link. You can add Word files also, you can add PPT, you can add links, you can have some websites link, URLs, whatever material you want to add. You can add, you can create your own content, you can have some write-up and you can add those files with the help of this create button. So uh, basically if I want to add more, again I have to click on, uh, create, create, uh, click on create and I can, I can add. If I want to give assignment to the students, I can click on assignment. I can type question here and I can assign the assignment. So this is very easy and very user friendly. Then we will go to the next part that is people. I already told you I can add my colleague teachers here and I can add my students even I can add the parents also. This fourth part that is this is grade. So whenever I assign some assignment to the students and students will give answer to my assignment. So here grade part will get enabled and you will be able to see what kind of answers are given and you can uh, give grades to the students. So this part can be used for the assessment of the students. So in the Google Classroom, if you see all these features that putting announcement, putting as a, uh, see now on the first page, I have uploaded the uh, content from, uh, from classwork, but now it is visible on the front of my Google Classroom. So you will be able to see this here. Even your students will be able to see, they can download, they can view, they can comment on your content and this is possible my friend. So Google Classroom, very, uh, very it is very useful, you can have your assignments also. We will see in the next part how we can give the assignment. So uh, let me uh, share with you the next part. Now we will go to the Google Docs. For Google Docs, again you have to go to your uh, Gmail account. And here down, you will see the docs. So click on the docs and you will be able to see these kind of documents here. So uh, you can have some ready-made templates. You can go in the templates and you can have those templates or you can have blank document. Let us uh, first create blank document. So when I go on the blank document, Okay, see, I had uh, first clicked on my uh, template, so it, it got enabled here. Let us go uh, back again and let us have a blank document. So when I create on blank document, this will look like a Word file. It is very similar to Word. But there are very beautiful features available here. So let me share all those uh, features uh, with you. So when I open this page, you can see a similar features like Word. But let me tell you, my friends, this is something that it gets saved on the cloud. It is not like Word file. It is similar to it. But for example, I'll tell you one beautiful feature of it that uh, you can insert some files. For example, you are a mathematics teacher. 
or you want to add some chart you can add uh, here if you want to from insert option what it what is available i will show you so i just clicked on the graph it got inserted here and it is showing that the file is already saved so it automatically gets saved whenever i include in, uh, anything so this file edit view options are similar to word in insert option you will be uh, able to see that you can insert some drawing new drawing or, or, uh, from drive also you can insert uh, some image it will ask me if i want to upload it from computer search the way it is one of the beautiful feature google docs is having if i want to search the web it will immediately give me the search page of google and if i want to add a image of rectangle okay so here you can see different kind of figures of rectangle are available so whatever i want i will select it and i will add it suppose i want uh, this one and if i select it will immediately get pasted on my google doc so this facility is available here then in insert you will see uh, images from drive photos url camera you can you can directly go to the camera you can click the photo or you can uh, select it from drive then chart different kind of bar uh, column graphs line pie chart from sheets from wherever you want then special characters you can add equations you can add headers and footers you can add some uh, points or names if, if you want page numbers break even you can have some link for example if i have written something here related to my subject suppose educational technology okay and i want to add some link here so what i will do is i will click on link and it will ask me to insert link but for that again i will uh, go to the google and i will share i will copy the link and i will put it here and that link will be openable so you can click on that link and you can directly uh, see that link from here then uh, there are some other features like uh, word file only you can uh, paragraph styles you can put a line and line spacing columns bullet summary it's very similar to word file so i am not going to repeat that i will show you some additional features which google docs is having here in tools you can can see voice typing is there and translate document is there so for example i want to type something and i don't know how to type in that language so what i will do for example i don't know how to type in marathi or hindi or french or any language in the world so this google docs will allow me to type in any particular language if i speak that language in front of this google docs so let me click here on voice typing and again here you can see icon is here and if i click here it will ask me to speak and whatever i am speaking it will get typed okay so let me show you the, there are some languages here i will select marathi language because i don't know how to type in marathi so let me go to that language okay so here you can see marathi language option is there and if i click on this button it will ask me to speak and it will get typed so i am clicking it and showing you the demo vidyarthi mitranno aaj apan shaikshanik tantrajnan ya vishayavar abhyas karnar ahot you can see your ear i just speak in marathi and this document it is getting typed so i can uh, talk for whatever paragraphs i want 
and it will get typed automatically. And it has one more feature. Here you can see I have uh, typed educational technology. And uh, here one statement from Marathi. If I want translation of this document, see how magic it will do. If I go in tools and then I'll ask translate document. So it will uh, uh, get opened in some other uh, language. It will ask me in which language you want to translate this. So for example, I want to translate this document in Hindi. So I'll select Hindi subject, Hindi language, and I will ask it to translate. So it will automatically open new page with a translated copy. So it is opening here in the side. So I'll just go there. See, by both the statements, English and Marathi, they got translated in Hindi here. So you can speak, you can type in any language, you can translate in any language. And whenever my document is ready, I can share with anybody. For example, here you can see one button of share. So if I click on share, it will ask me that if you want a shareable link, add people. So if I want to add some people here, I can add those people here by their uh, emails. Here you can see it is asking me to get link. If I want to change. Here, anyone with the link can view, comment or edit. So if I want, you can add Add some uh, particular uh, pages, some uh, even doc to form, easy by some applications, additional applications if you want. So here are some add-on applications. If you want to add those applications, that's it. That is available here. So fillable document if you want, sorted paragraphs, scratch blocks. So there are many many features available in add-ons. You can use that add-ons with this feature so this is very easy to use and uh, very impact making uh, if you can share So participants here, you can actually. Marathi language option is there, and if I. Ha, Marathi option is there. It will ask me to speak, and it will get typed. So I'm clicking it. I'm showing you the demo. Vidyarthi Mitrano, as upper. Shakshanik Tantra Nyan. So participants here, you can actually. Marathi option is there, and if I. Ha, Marathi option is there. See how here to speak, and I just. Speak in Marathi and this document it is getting typed. 
So I can. I'm just speaking uh, in Marathi and uh, Vidyarthi Mitrano. Today, we are going to discuss Shikshanik Tantra Gyan. We are going to discuss this topic. And, and you will be able to listen the uh, voice here. So uh, it got typed here. If I don't know how to type in Marathi, I can just speak in that language, and that. words will be available here so it will automatically translate for me if i go on translate page you can see over here if i choose any language for example i want to do it in hindi language so i'll select that language and this document will get translated in that particular language so it is opening in other window and you will be able to see you can see over here both my statements got translated in hindi so uh, it's a wonderful tool it's really beautiful to see that if i don't know to type in any language i just have to speak with this voice typing and that say uh, statement will get translated here is one option of share you can share from here and you can see if i start sharing it will show me this kind of window uh, where i'll be able to add anybody so if i add anybody's uh, email uh, account I, that person will get added i can uh, i'll be able to share with that person i'll get the link also and with help of this link if i want to give some access to that person that the viewer can comment or edit on my document that person will be able to edit the document so i am giving rights for editing so here you can see uh, i can copy the link and i can share this link with the participants or with my students one more beautiful feature is whoever is having this link i can just go on any url and i can type this link and those students who are having my link will be able to see my the document they will be able to edit my document so this facility is available over there and let me tell you whenever i want to take any examination for example i am sharing my google doc with my students and i want to uh, give some questions for example i am typing here one uh, question that is uh, what is educational technology so what you can do is you just have to uh, type the question here and share the doc with your students and your students will be able to write answer here they can write the answer and they can share the document back to the teacher so this facility is available for, for conducting examinations also you can do there are some add on uh, options so you can go on add on and there are some beautiful features available like you can uh, convert it, this document into form you can convert this this in form of template in the form of question paper or you can have some uh, tools related to documents where you can convert this in any form and i'm getting some messages from participants that i am little fast but you will be able to see this video again i am posting this on youtube so don't worry about it because we have just one hour time and we have to complete the three uh, tools so don't worry about it and uh, those who are using it first time they might uh, feel that it's a little fast or it's uh, difficult but once you go on this you will be able to do it very uh, effectively it's very easy to use i'm just showing you the applications which are available we have what is the facility available over here so uh, whenever i want to uh, take any examination or i want to share any document with my children with my students it's very uh, easy to use and uh, okay i think this screen is uh, clear to you now uh, when i go to google docs there is one option called google sheets slides and forms so if we want to go to forms let us go to forms and you will be able to see 
a new screen of Google Form. And on this screen, I have already made some forms, but let us now create a new form for now. So here I am clicking on the blank form. So new form will get uh, created here. And uh, you can see, I can give title to my form. This form can be used as assessment tool for the children. So this is very one of uh, the wonderful feature of Google Form. I have a written name here, ICT in education. I want my name of my students. So in next question, I will write name of the student and Google is very intelligent. It is showing me short answer question. So I'll collect name of my students and I will keep as it is because there are some options like short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down, file upload, linear scale, multiple choice, check box and so many. So whatever kind of option I want, I can give it here. And it is very much possible to have different kind of questions in Google form. So when I want to add more questions, I can click on the next option. So let us go ahead. Okay, here in right hand side, there are some options like add question. There is one more option of import questions. So if you have any questions ready made, you can import the questions from your document. And you can give add title and description, you can add image if you want, you can add video, you can add section if you want to make two, three section of your form, you can do that here. Uh, so here you can see I am uh, writing email address of students. So I'll collect email address with help of this form and I'll make both the uh, things mandatory. So students have to give the name and email address mandatory. So I'm making it required question. Okay, so I'll add one more. And here, for example, I want to uh, add some question like ICT stands for Okay, so I'm typing here, ICT stands for, and it is showing me multiple choice. I can give some choices here for answer of the students. Uh, here I'll type information, communication, technology, and one more option I will write, input, communication, technology. And one more I'll type that is information, common technology. I can give more options also if I want three or four. And uh, I'll make this question again required. Okay. So let us go to the next part. I'll keep it as multiple choice. Let us have one more question in this Google form. If I want to add image, I will click on image. Image will get inserted here. I can browse the image from the from my computer. Let me check if any image is there in my picture box. So for example, let me select one image. So I'm adding this image to uh, Google form and it will get inserted with help of it, okay. So here I have added the image. I will make it little small. It is, li it is little bigger on the form. So I'll uh, drag and I'll make it small. And here I am typing the question, name the person in the picture. So you can see over here that if I want my students to write uh, name of a person, I will keep short answer as it is, or I can give options. I can have this as a multiple choice questions if I want, okay. Now, again, I will make it a required question. So uh, it, is, it will be mandatory for my students to answer this question. 
and after you have setting option here you have some options uh, like undo make a copy move to trash get prefill in you can print this form if you want you can add some collaborators if i want to give rights to my colleague teachers i can give rights of this forms to colleague teachers so they will be able to see the responses of the students uh, and uh, here you can see there are some add on app options also and some preferences also in add on if i click on add on options it will take to me to uh, one more different page where you can see some add on options nowadays you might be experiencing that in lockdown period whenever you submit any google form immediately certificate comes to your email id so this option is available here certify em in add ons you have to click on certify em and certify em will provide you facility to give certificate immediately to the participants so if i click on this it will show me some templates of certificates it will ask me to choose one template and i can choose that uh, any template and i can uh, have uh, written name of my college or my school and names of the people uh, who who are signing on that certificate so i can add that option and immediately that will get added to my google form so now let us see how my google form will look Uh, there are some other forms where i have created uh, the i have inserted some picture about the form so like this form we can add picture to form now just i created i'll go to that form again and i will show you how to do it on this form there are option customize theme so if i want to customize the theme i have to give the title to my form so if i click here it will ask me to give title i am giving title ict as my uh, subject name is ict so in themes it will ask me to choose some image or if i want to give some header to my form so here are some already themes available in google form only so i can select any image and i can insert that image that image will get inserted uh, on my google form here and if i want to change the color background color of my form so i can change the color over here so it is uh, possible to change the color and in this way the color background color of my form will get changed you can uh, check here and you can add any color you want okay uh, so background color font style if you want to change the font style of your uh, form google form you can go here in font and you can change the font style it will get changed or you can keep it basic i always prefer to keep basic font style so here i have and you can see the preview if i click on preview my google form will look like this and here will be submit option where students can submit so this kind of google form will be visible to my students and if i want to send this form to my students i will click on send button once i click it will ask me via email or via link i can share it on facebook or twitter directly i can copy the link from here and i can send to the participants or to my students this link and with the help of this link students will be able to answer like you registered for this uh faculty development program we provided you one link and by clicking on that that link you could register so in the similar way my students will be able to answer all the questions whatever i have put on this google form if i want to see responses i will click on responses so all the responses will be available here we have just created the form so there are no responses right now here and uh, so your google form is ready now and you can add any kind of question over here this is one of the very useful assessment tool nowadays many school teachers are using google forms for assessment purpose i have seen many school schools they are giving google form links to uh, children and parents in their whatsapp group and they are 
creating uh, different subject google form and they are assessing students with the help of it so it is possible to have examination of students with the help of google form i will take you to the google drive you all know about google drive what it is it is basically a storage part of our gmail account if i go on google drive you can see uh, whatever uh, folders or files i have uploaded uploaded on my google drive so here i want to show you some options where you can see here some documents are here when i go on google drive it will ask me shared with me some recent uh, starred and trash and one beautiful feature is uh, of google drive is you can upload the folders up to 15 gb it's free if you want to store more than that you have to purchase that for uh, for but for that purpose i think uh, let me share my screen again i'll stop sharing here and i'll share my other screen with you okay so let me take you to my uh, google account again when i am uh, posting if i want to post something on the google drive what kind of feature it gives let me uh, show you this so when i click here on new it will ask me file upload or folder upload so i can upload the file or folder on this immediately or if i go on google docs google sheets google slides some more options are there very beautiful options google drive is providing here again you can see google forms google drawings are also available uh, google my maps google sites google apps script google jamboard and uh, excel editor is there i'll take you to the google site it is one of the beautiful feature that i could see in it for example you are a subject teacher and you want to create your own website for free and with we easy access so this is one of the uh, beautiful feature of google so when you go on google site there is one one more way to go on google site that is just go on any url and you just type sites.google.com so after typing this this kind of screen will be visible you just have to log in with your gmail account and once you go to this page i am going little slow because many people are saying go little slow so i am getting uh, those who are techno savvy or those who technology they might feel that is this is slow but i am doing this for many participants who are beginners and who are using this first time so when you go on sites.google.com this kind of uh, page is visible and if i want to create it i have to decide for what purpose i am using this site if i am using it for my school for my subject being a class teacher of any particular subject or am i using it for my personal use i can use it as my personal web page also for example if i want to use it for my personal use i will type my name here and i will create my personal uh, website okay so i will try type my name, uh, name here sandhya khedekar okay and here you can see i can uh, drag i can change the font if i want and i can change the background image here and if i want to select any background image it will take me to the gallery and it will ask me to change the background image if i select this one i'm just randomly selecting it it is uh, getting selected and it will show the background image like this you can add any image you can download any image from google you can go to the images and uh, you can go to pixabay pixabay.com is one of the wonderful website where you will get very beautiful pictures for free there are some um, Uh, pictures which uh, can be purchased but free pictures are also available and they are really beautiful go on pixabay.com 
So here uh, I can change the image. If I want to add some text box here, I can add the text box and I can write my designation if I want. I can write my uh, qualification. I can have any information about me of if it is a personal website, okay. Suppose for example, I want to add some image. I have to click on image and I have to select. So it will ask me that what kind of image you want to uh, insert by URL, by Google image search, by photos or by Google Drive. So I can add any image here. I can add images from Drive also. I can add some files from Drive also. I can change the layout. You can see over here, layout option is also available. So uh, in what way I want, to, uh, want my uh, website to be visible, it is possible to select the uh, theme. Then collapsible text is also available. You can see in the right hand side here, table of contents, image, then uh, button and divider, placeholder, all these things are available. So this is one of the wonderful uh, tool. If I go on my YouTube channel and I want to put some video here, I can type here. Okay. And suppose I want to select this video and I'll insert. So I can insert my video. I can insert my PowerPoint presentation. I can insert any study material. This is one of the wonderful uh, feature of Google Sites. And you can publish it. Once I click on publish, it will get published. And if I give this link to anybody, anybody in the world will be able to see my website. So I think uh, let us uh, have uh, uh, that for today. I'll, I'm st uh, stopping my screen sharing and I could see some questions on the chat box. So let me have those questions. And uh, dear participant friends, I want all of you because we are already running out of time. I want all of you to use all these things, whatever I showed just now. So today you can create your own Google Classroom. You can have your Google document. You can share with your students. You can share some study material to the, with the students. Then uh, you can create Google form for assessment purpose. You can take, take examination of student. And uh, uh, one more thing I showed you that is uh, Google site, which was not there in schedule, but it is really useful for the teachers. So in five minutes uh, time period, you can have your own websites. So go, go on sites.google.com and create your own website for your particular subject. If your school is asking to teach any subject, you can have that site and you can proudly tell your students that I, I as a being teacher of history, being teacher of English, being teacher of mathematics, I have my own site and I'm sharing with you and you can upload any video, any study material, any PDF file, any PowerPoint presentation on your site and you can use it effectively. That is very much possible. Uh, let me uh, take a few questions from chat box. I think I could see one or two questions. One question from... Uh, Ravi Kumar, he is saying that whether institutional email ID is necessary for students for Google Classroom. Yes, Mr. Ravi Kumar, uh, if your institution is using it, you can have institutional IDs or you can go with your personal IDs. Nowadays, schools are working from home. So mo most of the students, they are using their parents' email ID or their own email ID. They are creating their email IDs. Even teachers can use their personal email ID because here Google Classroom code is essential. What kind of Gmail account you are opening or what is name of your email account, that is not uh, important here. Your classroom code is important. So uh, you are identified with that classroom code. So you can use institutional as well as personal email ID, or you can create a different personal email ID for some different classrooms and you can use that. One more question was there from Bharti uh, Sadarangani. She is asking how to add people in bulk to class. So Bharti, let me tell you that uh, we can add, there is option called people in Google Classroom and uh, we can have a group of people and we can collect their email IDs. For example, I have 50 students in my class and I want to conduct um, Google Classroom of all those 50 students. What I will do is I will create one Google form 
i on that google with the help of google form only i will collect all the email ids and contact number of the uh, students and i can go in two ways one way is i can create their whatsapp group and i will share my google classroom code in that whatsapp group and i will ask all the students to join individually or i can collect email ids with the help of google form and i will go to the people option in google classroom and i can add all those email ids i collected in that and all the students will get added here so we can add people bulk in bulk in the google classroom uh, vijay ubari is asking can we use it in higher education institution yes very much means we can use it for any age group google classroom google docs google forms and google sites can be used for any age group students and in case of transfer we allocate the classroom to other yes you can give that classroom code to other teacher and that other teacher will be able to handle that classroom not an issue just you have to use the separate email id or you can ask that uh, you can make collaborator there is option of collaboration if any other teacher get transferred in your place you can give your class code to that teacher you can make him collaborator and you can leave the group not an issue that can be done so if you have any other queries please put in the chat box i think uh, are there any questions let me check otherwise i'll conclude because it's uh, 11:17 now and i'll hand over the session to manisha manisha can you uh, please take over the session uh, and i'm really thankful to team of st reza's institute of Edu education for conducting this kind of faculty development program and i could reach to all the school teachers and uh, college teachers teacher educators through this platform i'm thankful to edfly also for providing this platform so this five days we will be having different uh, sessions uh, let me know if i am going little fast i know there are some reasons because those who are techno savvy they will get bored if i go little slow and those who are not techno savvy they will feel that this is fast so we have a middle way what we can do is uh, this video again i will be posting on my youtube channel you can watch this throughout the day and you have to practice you practice and you uh, tell me in comment box that you really used this you have to use this because once you use then only you will come to know what difficulties you are facing and please try to put your questions in chat box so i'll be able to answer the questions i will try to answer all the questions in chat box so thank you so much over to you manisha thank you very much ma'am thank you st teresa uh, institute for having us and giving us an opportunity to be the host for this session um sandhya ma'am this was really a uh, very detailed yet uh, quick run through for the session and uh, am i audible yes yes yeah yeah okay so i'll be uh, quick now again uh, for the reason that we have already run out of time we are beyond our uh, 11 o'clock uh, limit and i promise to keep it simple all the days then uh, that we are going to be talking about edfly edfly is uh, again another learning management solution where teachers can host their lectures like what we uh, saw in google classroom what you've done and a lot of times a question that will pop up as soon as i say we are like edfly we are uh, like uh, google classroom learning management solution how are we different how are uh, you know edfly learn providing anything different than uh, the various options that are available and i'll first before we get to uh, the details of what is it in in action uh more or less you will find that we've tried keeping it simple for the teachers who are not tech savvy and uh, so that they could just immediately get started using it to host lectures upload content and start addressing taking classes with their students in the same fashion that they were doing when they were doing with the physical classroom uh difference is that on edfly learn platform lms we have tried put it all together in single dashboard where you will be able to uh, create content schedule lectures uh, mark attendance take uh, you know queries from your students engage with them via chat and video everything will happen in single window 
and you will have access to your uploaded content and the responses from the students even in future in terms of the responses to your journals and assignments in terms of the recording of your uh, lectures that you've conducted in terms of uh, record of uh, attendance for which particular day what topic and who all attended your session we've tried replicating the real life uh, teaching experience physical classroom experience into a platform which remains simple we understand that uh, in india a lot of us our teachers are experts of our subject but technology is not been our forte and it's now that we have started to learn it uh, as much as that we get comfortable how we were uh, when we were doing classroom uh, physical classroom a uh, good point about edfly learn i would like to highlight is that we are there to support you know with any smallest of the query that you have uh, very oftenly said by teachers that no question is a wrong question so we welcome all type of inputs we welcome all type of questions related to uh, the features that you seen but not understood uh, features that you believe should be there but are not there uh i'll also give a small background to edfly learn we have been serving education institutes since last 10 years uh with technology and our one way of working has been that we receive the inputs create platform which are relevant to you relevant to you in the sense that you should be able to relate to it you should be able to use it and time and again we keep coming back to you for both understanding whether you're liking the platform or not enjoying it using it at the same time what else would you like to be added into the platform for it to be more relevant and useful to you i'll switch to the platform and as i said i'll keep it quick and simple this is the edfly learn platform edflylearn.com uh, on your address bar you have to enter this url edflylearn.com and this is the link uh, home page that you'll get the site gives all the details about the features that are there on edfly learn uh, coming to edfly learn for institutes on uh, edfly learn platform one thing that we also identified after listening to a lot of educators decision makers at the institute level the management that it is not only important that we host the lectures we we are able to conduct the regular uh, classroom sessions it is also important to monitor it well a uh, lot of regulations are required to be implemented while conducting classes so in our uh, platform we have tried covering all those aspects related to management uh, whether it is uh, keeping records or keeping control or Uh, restricting with security uh, intact you must have noticed uh, today's session is happening on zoom and uh, hosting on youtube live what you've tried is that on edfly learn we've put all the features together so that the teachers are able to conduct their content activities assignments submissions and zoom being the most seamless uh, live streaming live uh, you know video conferencing tool we've integrated with it plus we've added security layers we've encrypted the urls we have ensured the students who are approved by the institutes are only able to see it there are multiple layers of security we have added and that is all from the perspective of institute management concerns that we've heard from them so that's that's one we can get all the other details here and we can always connect for help by Uh, reaching out to us on the helpline numbers that are given when we click here we'll reach to the registration form which looks like this as you can see uh, edfly learn is not only available for india but also for all other countries across the, the world uh, registration form needs to be filled with the proper details and numbers as selected as here we are all teachers today so we will be selecting teachers and teachers uh, there are two formats one teachers individually can create free account and get started using it all the features are open for teachers to start immediately like we have for google classroom and when we create the account we will see a dashboard like this 
this will be the dashboard which will tell us about our progress as we keep adding i would request you all uh, to use this platform on the first day i will be sharing details on the group so that uh, we are we have enough time to explore by ourselves as mentioned earlier that the platform is going to be simple as simple as uh, uh, we can see right here we have to click on so as we log in this is the button that we can get started with schedule lecture this is the uh, way we will create our first course here you can see there is a, a instruction diagram which is designed hinting on what is it that we are filling so as we select 2021 will be the area of uh, year course name subject name ba would be the course name for college similarly we will have standard 1 standard 2 so if i write standard 3 that will be relevant for the two uh, school teachers and likewise we'll progress with our complete course creation and everything i will not go to the details today as i said i would request that we when when we follow uh, these steps i will share the details on the group telegram group that we have made uh, and request you all to take your time and explore the platform decide which platform do you want to use for your final uh, you know live lectures like any other technology that we have seen in our day to day life be it ordering food or watching television we should have options edfly learn is one of the options that is there with you and we makers of edfly learn would want to be very transparent and open for inputs and criticism we would like you to use as well as the other tools that you are using and then we we've heard from our users that they've liked edfly learn more than any other platform so we're pretty confident uh, that we'd be getting positive inputs from you and uh, we'll be looking forward to have you on board to service you to guide you to train you uh, in using the platform like this there are all the other tools which can be put together and made use in via the single platform and we'll talk about that in our consecutive sessions uh, in the rest of the days that we have for this ftp i'll sign off from here thank you so much sandhya ma'am saint teresa institute for uh, having us again for any question you can put in the group uh, the youtube channel or on telegram group later when we open the group for chat for some time for activity during the activity we'll announce activity details and timing on the group itself uh, also one announcement feedback link a lot of people were asking for feedback link in the youtube chat uh, we will be sharing feedback link in the telegram group only we have shared telegram group link on youtube chat for those who have not joined the group as yet looking forward to have you all for all the days that we have the fdp this fdp by the end of this fdp we believe that a lot of us teachers will be more equipped and comfortable using technology in our day to day teaching thank you so much all good things must come to an end and so has today's enlightening session but before we bring the curtains down we need to thank numerous persons for having been the cement and mortar of this glorious day we thank god almighty for having permitted so many of us to come together on this platform on behalf of our management i place on record our indebtedness to our resourceful resource person who is a torch bearer dear madam your passion for technology and teaching is plain to see you are an awe inspiring teacher and we have always looked up to you you have mastered the art of providing hands on training from a distance to our technical experts at fly learn you have been our safety net you have helped us reach out to such an overwhelming number of delegates with composure the calm on our faces is thanks to you a special thank you to isti family our principal staff and students no job seems too difficult when we come together our dearest delegates thank you for reposing trust in us 
We truly hope these sessions will enable you to bridge the gaps you wish to bridge. So we meet again right here, same place, same time tomorrow. Until then, stay home, stay safe, stay secure from COVID-19. Adio, my friends.